Again, as we think about how to use computers as a tool and how to make sure that they're complementing our lives, we want to think about our own unique capabilities. So there are certain things that computers are much better at than we are, and then there are other things that humans are much better at than computers are. Now, on some level, that second category is sort of constantly under attack. So we used to think that we were good at playing chess, and then we created a computer that was really good at chess, and now computers can easily beat us at chess. Okay, so computers, humans were good at playing chess. Then we used to think we were good at playing the game Go, which is actually super complicated, and we thought computers will never be able to play Go, and now computers are starting to beat you know, Go masters at their own game. So this category seems to be constantly shrinking. We seem to be constantly finding things that computers can do. Computers can talk to us, computers can drive cars. Computers can make complex decisions about how we respond to the world. Um, and so, to some degree, this is, a, this is a tough category to fill. I'm kind of worried that if I start writing things down on the board, um, you know, someone's going to say, well, no, I read a paper that says that a computer can do that, right? So if I say, you know, computers are, uh, humans are good at complex reasoning, right? Uh, may, maybe that's the case, or maybe we just haven't, you know, uh, figured out yet how to get computers to do something like this. Um, what about sort of like value systems, right? Um, you know, enforcing, uh, trying to make trade-offs between what's good for our own human lives. But honestly, computers might be better at this if we just sort of train them uh, what our objectives are. Maybe entire legal and moral systems are all, to some degree, complex multivariable optimization problems that it would be possible for us to train a computer to solve. So again, this category seems like it's tricking all the time, but I think to some degree, ans answering this question is hard because we're not asking the right question. So let me perform an experiment. All right? So I've got this here. I've got my phone. All right? All right? Are you ready? You ready? Did you flinch? Did it hurt? Was there any sense in which, like if somebody's head had been there, right? Or if there had been, you know, like a, I don't know, like a cat or something, right? I mean, wouldn't you have flinched? Wouldn't you have cried out? Wouldn't there have been something inside of you that just felt t terrible, right? Felt terrible that I destroyed this thing, but who cares, right? This is just a machine. No one cares about this thing. And now that it's got a few extra, you know, problems with it, you know, it's going to you know, go to the place that machines go when we're all done with the machines. So the fact is computers are, exist because we created them and exist to complement our own lives. This computer's life has no meaning. And if I keep bashing it with a hammer, it's still not going to have any meaning. So computers cannot find meaning in our lives for us, and they can't do the complicated, sort of meaningful human things that we can do. They can't care about other people. They can't uh, necessarily be generous and share ourselves with other people and love things and care about stuff and make choices that uh, we're hoping are sort of for some sort of global optimum, but actually expose us to a lot of danger. So there are all sorts of ways in which hum computers can complement us, but our lives are still about us and the choices that we make. And that's why it's so important to think about how this thing, alive or dead, can help you live your life better, be a better person. And to the degree it's helping with that, great. And to the degree that's interfering with that, you have a problem because you might as well, you know, if, if this smartphone is causing you problems, just do what I just did. Now you don't have a phone anymore and you can go about living your own human life, uh, maybe living it a little bit better. Just want to point out that I will dispose of I will dispose of this responsibly in the appropriate e-waste receptacle.